Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into Diego Pacheco and uh, Soliski, which actually is going to be uh, a terrible fight. I, I don't know why I said it was a good one. I, I, I misspoke there. It's a terrible fight. I have no idea why they're making this fight. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Get you all the uh, perks. Get you the lock of the week. Get you S the bookie. Anything. Get you the updated prop bets uh, that weren't available when we dropped the video. Get you the absolute best gambling advice and so much more for just $5 a month. I am the best in the world at this. No one has a track record or a resume like me. Uh, you can check all my videos. Join the Patreon. $5 a month. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. And this is going to be intriguing because I'm not hyper impressed with Diego Pacheco as a prospect. Yes, he's a world-class fighter. Yes, he's a good fighter. Uh, he came on. He burst on the scene. So many people had so many huge expectations for him. Uh, like he was going to be one of the great, you know, he, he's the next great thing it was 6'3", six, 6'4", six, whatever he is, long, powerful. And he really just hasn't panned out to be that. Now, he's here. He's a world-class guy. Does he get to a world title? I mean, I think they're going to have to manufacture it if it does. I, I'm not usually impressed. I studied the tape a lot for this fight. Uh, I'm less impressed than I was before. Tall. Rangy guy, stays in the center of the ring, works behind the jab, solid footwork, circles well. Uh, he doesn't stay stationary. Good fundamental fighter. Whoever taught him to fight did a pretty good job. He's fairly athletic, and he's slippery, and he can make you miss a bit, which is not really what people expect from him. Like I said, he likes to fight in the middle of the ring. He likes to be at long range. He's fairly accurate from out there, and, and he's patient. He's patient, and he sets up his power shots. He throws his power shots well. He's accurate from the outside. He's accurate from the long range. He's got good fighting. In, he's got good finishing instincts. He's a good finisher. He sticks his jab out. He has pretty good power, good footwork. They're going to make you miss. He's a long-range fighter, and, you know, there's not a ton of, a ton of volume. There, there's good, not great power. He doesn't load up on it. He doesn't get wild. You know, he's he stays in control. He stays patient. He stays composed. I, I just don't see anything great about him. I, I, you know, he's here. He's a top ten super middleweight. I, I just don't think he gets any closer than this. Like I think we're looking, even though he's just twenty three. I don't see a whole lot of of, of things he's going to improve on. This is where he is. Does he get to a world title this way? I mean, he's young enough where I think over time that they can manufacture a belt for him and, and, or something like that. I just don't see a, a, a super talent here. I see a good fighter who at the highest level, at this level, is going to start to lose. Now, lucky for him, he's fighting Soliski. And Soliski is shot, 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 totally shot. I'm um, slightly embarrassed they made this fight. If you go back and you, and you watch, there's a Polish website. I forget what it was called. But he actually fought in Queens. And he fought, uh, but it was televised. on. Uh, it was streamed on this uh, Polish. Uh, you can find it on, on YouTube. He fought Rowdy uh, Legend Montgomery in Queens uh, back just a couple months ago, about three months ago. He probably lost. Uh, and Rudy, R Rowdy Legend Montgomery was a guy that's 11-5-1. Uh, the fight was contested at a catch weight 164 pounds, I believe. He just didn't look good in the fight at all, and and he shot. You know, the, the last win of note that he got was Gabriel Rosado in 2019. It was five over five years ago. It was five and a half years ago. The last win of note that he got. Since then, he he got shut out by Andre, and then uh, he took a year, 14 months off. For Sasha Yangian in Poland, 
and beat him in 2020. Fought once in 2021. Beat a 17 15 one fighter. Took a year and a half off for Angel Hernandez. And then fought Rowdy Legend Montgomery. None of that, to me, suggests he even belongs in the ring with Diego Pacheco. Especially coming off a fight where he may have lost to Rowdy Legend Montgomery. He's a, he's a front foot guy. He's, he's pretty basic. He's 35 years old. He has decent skills. He's decent fundamentally. Not a huge hitter. Not a knockout guy. You know, good, not great skills. This shouldn't be too too much of a risk for Pacheco. I I mean, I, I get it. He, he, you go through this. Hugo Centennial, that's his, that's his, his, his one of, of note back in 2016. Derek Finley, Daryl Cunningham. I'm not seeing it. You got you know, be it by Danny Jacobs. That's not, that's not, not, not a problem. I'm not seeing anything here that suggests that he can that at 29 he would have been competitive. Forget 35. Not particularly fast, and and that was five years ago. You watch him now; he's he's slowed down a lot since then. He shells up more. Uh, he takes a lot of shots now. Really has no path to victory in this fight. He's just not a world class guy. I don't think he ever was. He's not great at tracking you down. He doesn't cut the ring off. He's defensively responsible. He's solid defensively, but he's not super fast or super athletic. He can he doesn't really make you miss. He kind of blocks shots. Now he shells up. His volume is dropped. He just chases you around the ring and gets hit. He's slowed down considerably, and there's not much movement in him anymore. And he's got decent skills, like he, he you know, he, he can box, he can throw combinations and things like that. I'm just looking at him. I'm saying, like, what 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 do I like about him? And it's Whatever you liked about him five years ago certainly isn't there anymore if you watch his last fight. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Let me get this pulled up for you guys. This is not good. This is not good. All right. This is all they got on this. I thought they were going to have the props. And this is why you guys got to join the Patreon. Guys, join the Patreon. It's $5 a month. Because uh, I like Pacheco by stoppage in this fight, but I don't have a prop for it. So the only thing I got is Pacheco minus 1,200. You can bet that times two. That is easy money. Um, check for that. that. That is easy money. It's not going to really make you anything. Um, what is it? And uh, they're taking that feature down. Let me, let, let me get what that makes for you. Calculator. Minus 1,200. You're going to make it uh, on, on a $200 bet. It's going to make you um, 1667. A $200 bet is going to make you 1667. I mean, it's barely worth betting. I think you can parlay it. I think you can help bring down some odds with it. Uh, we're going to, when the when the props drop, which they will as we get close to the fight, we're definitely going to be looking at Pacheco on the money line. Pacheco, I mean, Pacheco by stoppage. I definitely think Pacheco stops him. It's interesting. I want to see what the odds are on that. So let's take a look at that. Let's look at Pacheco. Money, uh, we'll check a money line for our, our parlay, uh, and then let's check back and see when we get the props, which we will check back Thursday or Friday. And let's take a look at what Pacheco by stoppage is because I, I definitely like Pacheco by stoppage. Uh, but right now, all we have is a two times bet, two dollars bet makes you what, what did I say, 1667. Wish I could do better for you guys on this, but that's all we got. Tune back in, join the Patreon, and we'll 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 we'll. we'll See how to make money on the props. It is November, uh, what was it? August 28th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.
hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.